So we're going to balance this redox reaction here, COOH3 plus SN. We're going to do it in basic medium. So usually when you're given a problem like this, you're told whether it's an acidic or basic medium, but having this hydroxide group here, that's a good clue that it might be basic. The way we'll do it is first we'll balance it in acidic medium, and then we'll just add a step at the end. Some people like to add that step in the middle. I prefer to add it at the end. You get the same answer either way. So the first thing we need to do is figure out the oxidation numbers. I've written the oxidation numbers for those elements that change. Those are the ones we're interested in here. If you need help writing oxidation numbers or really with any of the steps here, balancing redox reactions, head over to my website and you can find everything you need there to do that. So we have the oxidation numbers. Now we write the half reactions. So I can see the cobalt goes plus three to plus two and the tin goes zero to plus two. Plus three decreases to plus two. So it's gonna be reduced. That's our reduction half reaction. Down here, zero to plus two, that increases. So that is gonna be the oxidation half reaction. So when we write the half reactions, they look like this. And typically we put the oxidation half reaction on top. Let's do that. So we have our oxidation half reaction and our reduction half reaction. Once we have that, we need to balance these half reactions. This is a little bit of work, but if you follow the steps, you'll be fine. So atoms of interest, we have tin here and here, one on each side, no problem. Cobalt here and here, those are balanced. Now we need to balance the oxygen atoms. We're gonna add water. We can do this because the reaction's happening in water, so we'll have plenty of water to add. So we have two oxygens here, none here. So I'm gonna add two water molecules. Two times one, two oxygens, two oxygens here. Now we balance the hydrogen atoms here, and we're gonna add hydrogen ions. We're saying right now we're working in acidic medium, so that would be where those H plus ions are coming from. So two times two is four, we only have one here. So I'm gonna add three hydrogen ions over here. Now the hydrogen atoms are balanced. And finally, I'm gonna balance the charge. I'm gonna add electrons. So over here I have three plus, and then this negative goes to the whole ion here. So I have two plus as my net charge here, and it's neutral here. So I'm gonna add two negative charges, two electrons, and now we've balanced the half reaction. Down here, we have three times one, three oxygen, atoms here, two times one, two oxygen atoms. So let's add one water molecule. Now we have the same oxygens on each side. Then we have three hydrogens here. We have two plus the two, four. So we need to add one H plus. Now we have four hydrogens on each side. And if we wanna balance the charge, we need to balance out this positive charge. Let's just add one electron here, put a one in front of it. That balances the charge. So these are the balanced half reactions. And at this point, you should stop and make sure you have the same number of atoms on each side and that the charge is balanced. For example, two times two is four hydrogens. Here we have one plus three, that's four. Charge balances out, atoms balance out here as well. So if you do this now, then you'll catch any problems, makes it a lot easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure the electrons are the same for both half reactions then we'll add them together, simplify, and we'll be mostly done. Here's our problem. We have two electrons here and one here, but they're the same electrons. These electrons here, they were lost. Over here, they were gained. So this number has to match. And here's how we fix it. Let me shrink this down a bit. We can multiply everything here by two. And that way, we'd have two times the one electron. We have two electrons here and two here and we'd be good. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take here, all this stuff right here, these are the reactants. So let me do that first. So I have the reactants here, and then all of this, I had to multiply by the two. That's why everything has a two in front of it here. Now I'll do the reactants. That's everything over here. You can see this is a lot of work. I took all of these here, down here, and two times the cobalt two hydroxide and two times the water. So now all of this should be balanced, but we can cross some things out that are the same on both sides, like two electrons, get rid of those. They're the same on both sides. And then here I have two H plus, here I have three. So let's get rid of this, 
3 minus 2 is just 1. So we'll just have one of those and get rid of these. And I see we also have two waters on each side. Get rid of that. So this is the balanced redox reaction for cobalt 3 hydroxide plus 10 in acidic solution. But remember, we want it in basic solution. Right now we have this H plus. It means it's still acidic. What we need to do is add a hydroxide ion here because that's going to cancel out the H plus, And then we still have to do that up here. So we did it to both sides. And what happens, this OH minus and the H plus, you have an acid and a base, they're going to add together. You're going to end up with HOH, which we know is H2O. And this is our final balanced redox reaction in basic medium. Again, you can check all of your work. The atoms should be the same on both sides. The charge should be the same on both sides as well. And I can see we have one minus here, one minus here. We're good. That's it. This stuff is hard. This is Dr. B. I hope this helped. Again, if you need more help, head over to my website here, breslin.org, and you'll find guides and practice problems, solutions, and so on. Thanks for watching.